Hi all and welcome to another Canon EOS 5D Mark IV High Dynamic Range Test. In this video I'm going to take a series of images and I'm going to underexpose them one, two and three stops and then we're going to lift the shadows and bring them back and we're going to take a look at the highlights and we're going to see basically just how well the dynamic range works and just how well we can recover shadows and at what cost. And I'd just like to thank Dale Photographic for making this video possible, for borrowing me the 5D Mark IV to review. Link is in the description for anybody who's interested. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the computer. Hello and welcome to the second part of my Canon 5D high dynamic range test. So in this video I'm going to, um, in fact what I'm going to do is let's um, just bring up the information here. I'll just press the D key to go into the develop module. Come on, is it Command I? Alt I, thank you. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, pick that, pick that, pick that, and pick that. I did um, video all, I basically, what I did was when I took these pictures, I took them one stop underexposed, two stop, and three stops. But as it's a dynamic range test, I might as well just try it at three full stops. So, what we're going to do is here on the first image, we have got um, ISO 1600. So, if I punch in three, we'll just shift tab and we'll go full screen there. It'll just be a little bit slow, right? So there you go. That's like, can I do a before and after in full screen? Oh yeah, yeah, I can, but it goes back to small. So we go before and after. And if we just go full screen again, we'll just click in and have a little look at the noise. And you can see it's near enough. I'll just take it off full screen for the purpose of this video. Um, we'll just shift tab. And we'll zoom back out. So, well, in fact, I'll hide the tab. So if we zoom in, you can see that it's near enough lossless. I mean, I can take the noise off, but uh, the uh, three stops of exposure off, but we can't see what noise there is. But it really has before and after is fantastic. So that's um, ISO 1600. So we'll now go um, test ISO 3200. So there's 3200. So again, uh, I'll just have to bring this back and go to the develop module and go put in three stops. As we know, I underexposed it three stops. We'll hide the panel and we'll zoom in to look at the noise. We'll do a before and after. And you'll see that it's really, really recovered well, even at 3200 ISO. Yeah, when you zoom in, you can see a touch of grain. But I mean, Jesus, it looks like I took it like that. So that's absolutely fantastic. Um, we'll just now go to 6400, we'll just bring back the tabs, shift tab by the way brings back the tabs, so this is 6400 now, I will bring it back three stops, we'll shift tab to hide the side panels and we'll zoom in and have a look and you can see obviously that's a little bit noisier now but as a rule um, again if we just zoom back and press full screen and don't zoom in 6500 recovered three full stops that's just absolutely phenomenal um we'll go now try 12800 i'm assuming this is going to look pants so there's 12800 um we will go and bring the panel back and we will go give it three full stops of exposure compensation we'll hide the tan tab we'll go full screen and you can see that, that obviously there's noise on that now. But to be fair, I don't reckon that would look much different shot at ISO 12800 at the perfect exposure. In fact, what we'll do for the price of eggs now, now we've looked at how good it is, we'll take the full screen off and I'll just take the flag off. Um, so if we go here now, there's 12800 just to stop. Oh, it has luck. I'll just get rid of these two stops under exposed. Let, let me just do this. This is going to make this... Uh, Next thing that I'm going to do here, good. So now we've got the uh, 12,800 a stop underexposed, and then we go three full stops brought back. That's the dynamic range. What's we'll got before and after? So if we go here again and we get rid of this one, delete, and we'll do it again, and then we'll go. So there you go. So we've got 6,400. Don't to get me wrong. This is still a stop underexposed. Um, and then we've got the one where we brought it three stops full back up. Hang on, sorry, let's press the right key. There you go. 
that's three full stops recovered. So of course, it makes sense to get your exposure right in camera, but it just shows you how amazing this camera is, how we can like recover. Let's go to 3200. Uh, uh, sorry, 3200 there is the recovered file. If we just go before and after, I'll delete this file here. And then if we go look at this one, that's 3200, we'll just press full screen. That's 3200, only one stop under exposed. And oh yeah, let's actually just fix this file. I know it's a stop under exposed, this one. So if we bring it one, there you go. And we'll just compare it next to the 3200. That's three full stops been brought back. And if we just take a look now. So yeah, you can see on the left, um, obviously it's a bit noisier than the one on the right. Um, the one on the right, I'm assuming is the one that was only one stop under exposed. Let me just check. Uh, let's just go here. Let's just check this. Take the compare key off. Press the right. Yeah, that's the one that was... Um, there you go. That's the one that was three stops. So we'll end this video now. So basically, what does that say for the dynamic range on the, uh, the Nikon? Uh, uh, the Nikon. What does that say for the dynamic range of the Canon 5D Mark IV? It's absolutely spot on. Really, really good. I'm not sure if I said Nikon a couple of times through the video, but I did mean Canon. Um, you'll see that bringing it back three full stops isn't an issue. When you're up at 6400 and 3200 and 12,800, you're best trying to get the exposure really, because you will introduce a little bit more noise than taking it at the correct exposure. At like 1600 and stuff like that, it really didn't matter. It, it came at a costless cost. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. And it means a great deal if you just give me a quick thumbs up. Thank you.